Well, local researchers say a new cancer tracker is showing promise in beating and potentially treating the disease. The amazing part, though, the unique place it was discovered. Medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now to show us how it's creeping in from a really scary source. Liz. Hey, guys, good evening. That source? Scorpion venom. It's part of trials right now at a few research centers around the country and not in use here yet, but I did sit down with cancer oncology specialists at the UC College of Pharmacy to share how this someday could change our lives. It's not the usual place you'd think you'd find a secret to fighting cancer, but researchers exploring this option for potential use say it really has the potential to very much change how we do care. Dr. Rowena Schwartz, who goes by the nickname Mo, specializes in pharmacy and cancer research. While she's not using this new tool yet, she says it could be a big breakthrough for use soon here and around the country. The excitement of it is that it's a way to identify tumor tissue separate from healthy tissue. It is a potential new way to find cancer cells that don't show up on other imaging. Researchers are now testing a molecule found in the venom of the death stalker scorpion. When combined with a dye that glows, it is injected into a patient with cancer. It works like tumor paint. It helps doctors see only the cancerous cells and leaves the healthy ones alone. While nobody's quite sure why it works this way, researchers can only speculate why the cancer becomes visible. Well, I think it's because of the um, chemotoxin that was identified was um, bound to tissue, bound to the cancer tissue, and not to normal cells. That visibility means you can find it in surgery. And when you remove the cells you can see? You know that you have resected all that is there that is tumor tissue. Well, still in the research phases right now, mainly in brain cancer, Dr. Schwartz says it has potential for use in a lot of other cancers too. To take a venom from a scorpion and then to sy synthetically make it without the poison, and then hook it to something that can be fluorescent under a laser light means that then you can like visualize it. And what you see, you can often treat successfully or maybe find out if that treatment isn't needed at all. As we learn more about cancer cells and the difference between non-cancer cells, it gives you potential targets for treatment and in this case targets for visualization and that, that's I think that's really one of the most exciting things that's going on in cancer. Exciting stuff. No word yet on when the results of these trials could lead to more widespread use of this tumor paint. If you've ever been in cancer surgeries, normally they need to send it to a lab and say, did we get it all? Mm -hmm. And then send it back. Right, they right. call that clear margins. This could tell you right away if you had those clear margins. Wow. Okay, so I just want to be clear about something. The actual venom will not be put in someone's brain. It's, no, they, it's sin they make a synthetic version Yeah, they version take of a it? piece of it and they found that for whatever reason, this, like she said, the toxin attaches. Right. And they make a synthetic then that will track through your body. It's fascinating. I know. And, yeah. you know, to think that just is uh, something that was created. And right. we, we have brilliant minds that can find it and put it in something that could be practical. Good stuff. Keep us posted. Oh, absolutely. All Looking right. forward to that. Thanks, Thanks Liz. Cam.